What is happening guys? My name is Ryan and welcome back to Dungeon of the Endless. We're up to floor 6, which is 10 times further than we got last time, which was oh, floor 2 or something like that. So let's hope we keep going on our streak. Uh, we've got three options currently, these three doors here. So left, top and right. So we're going to go with the right door first. So let's get in here. These guys, yeah, they're easy enough. Light up that room. And can we plonk down? No, we can't even plonk down the industry generator yet. We don't have enough resources. We'll go downwards this time. Another dead end. Which is nice. Oh, what's this? I've never seen one of these before. A stele. So, heroes in full zone damage on heroes in room plus 15. Zone damage on NPC in room plus 7. Attack power of monsters, negative 25%. Negative 50% defense of monsters as well. Interesting. Each turn the Stello loses health points. When it is destroyed, the fix will end. So I guess we get this sort of bonus for three floors, which is interesting. Okay, we'll go through the right hand door. Largest room. No enemies, unfortunately, so it's kind of going to waste at the moment. Uh, but we can put down our industry generator straight away, so let's do that. Awesome. Keep heading this direction. Still no enemies, that's really weird. Uh, luckily for us, this room is powered automatically, though. Might as well just keep heading right. Best thing to do. Oh, another one of these. Does it do the same thing though? No, it increases our speed by 100% and we have that for 8 doors. So obviously this must be a new game mechanic. See, that one's dead. Yeah, because we've gone through 3 doors already. And we can't light up this room yet, unfortunately. Uh, but I think we can level up one of the heroes. Oh no, we just barely miss out. Next turn we will be able to though, so let's head downwards. Darker room again. But, that allows us to light this up, and conveniently monsters appeared. So we get some more dust for that. Absolutely easy ones. And we can level someone up. Who should we choose? Who gets a skill? Does anyone get a skill? You do. What's your skill? Placebo. Health regen plus 10 empowered rooms. Fek pills plus lit skills equal health regen. Anyway. Head right. Dead end. Awesome. Ooh, these guys. I don't know. Thought they were a bit harder. They're not. Quite easy still. Uh, so we've only got two rooms down here which are unpowered. So we'll head everyone back. Uh, I'm going to put down another industry generator because we're really lacking on it. Just get plenty of them. We're just going to be mindful of this. So we'll go to the left first. Small room, which is good. Because then we can quickly run back just in case anyone's spawned. Not from the look of it though. Uh, I will power this room. And I'll head this direction. Ooh, this is a big room. Uh, with another one of these things. Oh, okay, but we got monsters to deal with. Which is the most important thing for us to do. Ooh, they're really gone for her. For whatever reason. But we're gonna send her back. So she doesn't die. Then we're gonna get these three to get into here so we don't lose anything. We'll put you here just because we can. There we are. Actually, I'll bring her in. Might as well. There we go. Easy. Very easy. Uh, I'm gonna keep plonking down these industry generators. Might as well get as many resources as possible just so we can build lots and lots of buildings. Alrighty, I will go up this time. I want to stay around the core as we've got lots of rooms which remain unlit. 
unfortunately. Now, one of these guys goes straight for the core, so I'm going to activate Warcry and Psycho Killer. Hopefully they'll target him rather than the gem, I presume that's what that ability does. So let's see what happens. There's one still going for the gem. Oh, it's, it's a lot better though. We're not doing as badly. Oh, they've destroyed my generator though. No, that is not good. That's an absolute waste of resources, but we can light that up now, so we won't actually have to worry about that anymore. Now, what was this? Plus times zero defense? What? So it's useless, okay. Plus 30 speed. Heroes in room without monsters give an attack power bonus to offensive modules, okay. We shall continue left. That's a trader, but we'll quickly check. There's no enemies, which there isn't. Awesome. Okay, so we've got other t-shirt. We can't even afford that. Prisoner uniform, plus five defense. Hit unlocks operate. One of the three great artifacts of the endless scientist known as the monk. It can only be controlled at the same time as one of its two brethren, budget and quality. <laughs> huh. So I could give this to... If I wanted this device, I'll give it to... This person. Oh, she can have two devices. Interesting. There we are, and we got can operate major modules. Interesting. And we can't afford the prison uniform, unfortunately. But we shall continue. We will go just so we're staying centralized. We'll go down here. Someone to hire. No monsters from the look of it. Can't afford. Okay, but we can light up another room, which is nice. So I'm going to make that one lit up, I'm thinking. Ooh. Or should I light up something else? Hmm, decisions. No, I'll leave that as is. Uh, I'll put our food replicator here. Level 3, which is awesome. Then I shall head this direction in hopes that he can do some damage if anyone appears. Oh god, okay. Where are they coming from? Every single direction. Alright, we need to rush them. I'm going to get her to go directly there. I'm, I'm going to get them all to go directly there, but she can get there quick as possible so we don't damage. Whoa, we've lost someone. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Okay, this is not good. Oh my goodness, this is not good at all. Activate that. You stay here. Activate the taunt and the psycho killer. Can you guys pick these ones off or not? Ooh, that's not good. You need to run away right now. Oh, you are dying too. Alright, we're going to have to use some of the food to heal these guys up. Luckily, we made that food replicator. Can't heal. Is there a full life? That doesn't even make sense, but okay. Oh, sorry. I was clicking the wrong person. There we are. Okay, we'll keep you there. We'll actually keep you here too. See how we go. Oh, we've lost him. What? Oh no, we're down to our two weakest characters. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh god. Get in here. Where did you come from? Where on earth did you come from? Oh man. This could be the end. This could very easily be the end. He's under attack as well. Looks like he's died. Oh god. This is no good. 
Oh my god, she's getting really badly hurt too. With nothing really good to kill these guys with either. Oh god. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. Oh, it's looking that way. Oh my god. Okay. Can I get her in? No, this is not good. Ah, oh, I think this is it. Final stand. Oh no. Just run in. Go for it. No. No. The end. Oh. That was so much better than our other playthroughs. We did really well there. As you can see, based on the points, we got to level 6, which is nice. Well, that was really, really painful. But I believe, if we go new game now... Oh, we can see the characters, but they are not unlocked. So, we've actually discovered someone, but they're locked. So to unlock them, you have to reach the final exit or survive three floors in a row during your next encounter while playing with them. So you have to recruit them in the game and achieve these objectives in order for them to be recruited into your squad, basically. Alright, well, at least we know who some of these people are, which is good. But I'm going to have to leave it there as we got absolutely killed this time. So please like, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching as always guys, have a great day.